Hello, hello. I've arrived. Yes, artist, archivist, VTuber, and today, uh, alleged tactician and medical professional. You can call me Tiberius Vanderfield. But yes, Ark Knights. Been quite a while, hasn't it? But yes, we are playing Ark Knights again after... I said quite a while, but uh, let's see how long it has been, actually. Yeah, September. September was the last time we played Ark Knights, or at least that's the last time I uploaded Ark Knights. When did I actually... when did that... when... yeah, okay. So yeah, September 19th, specifically, was the last time we streamed Ark Knights, so it's been a little over a month at this point. Or, uh, not quite... well... yeah, no, it's been almost two months, actually. Anyway. <laughs> So, Ark Knights. So yeah, I guess before we get into Ark Knights, I'll get into uh, sort of my personal business today. So yes, so yeah, yesterday, or yeah, yesterday, I went into uh, yeah, I got a uh, unrelated, <laughs> unrelated to the 105 sharp pieces of metal that I recently acquired. I also recently needed had a minor injury that required that I get a tetanus shot. But uh, I am A-OK -okay after that, and I expect to continue to be so. I don't know why I felt the need to share that, but... Anyway, so, as for other business, yeah. I think I mentioned it yesterday, or last stream, which would not have been yesterday, that would have been Wednesday, right. But yes, last stream I mentioned it, that I've been feeling better recently, which has been a major goal of mine. But yes. So, hopefully, I should have some more time and energy, more so energy than time, the time hasn't changed very much, but I should have more energy than usual to be able to devote to doing these streams. So, hopefully, we're going to aim for two streams a week. Ideally, we'd like to someday get back up to three or even four streams a week, but for right now, we'll go with two and we'll work our way back up to a larger quantity. Yes, let's see, what else is there to say? But yeah, so I don't know precisely what the schedule is going to be for next week. I suppose I'll re review my actual personal real-world schedule. But yeah, I think... Yeah, I won't be working next Saturday either, so another afternoon Saturday stream could work as well. Yes, yeah, so you can expect the usual collab on Wednesday, assuming that nothing goes wrong, of course. And that should be basically everything that needs to be said immediately. Um, yeah, so more likely, more likely, I'm streaming today in the afternoon because I have a, uh, I have a commitment this, this evening. Usually, I would be more inclined to stream in the evening. So, that is more likely what we will see when I stream next. And I suppose I should say that the... or when I stream Arc Nights next. And yes, the usual collab, the Wednesday collab, should be at the same time, if it happens again on the same day. So, that should be around 8, 8.30 p.m. Central Time. And most likely, a, another Arc Nights stream on the following Saturday would be around the same time. Now, let's see, what else is there to be said? I think that should be basically everything. Oh, right, one other thing before we get started. So yes, so I had recorded, I had mentioned this before, way back when, two months ago, but yes, I had, uh, I have recorded the, the, uh, my actual two successful attempts at beating the Rathalos in uh, the Monster Hunter event. So I would like to, to play those clips at some point. But uh, first I'll need to extract them from the the recording... recording... Uh... Yeah, I was recording for quite a while. <laughs> it took me a while. It took me probably two or three hours over the course of a couple of days attempting it. Yeah, beyond just the attempts that happened on stream. So yeah, I would like to go over those at some point. Uh, but I'll have to get those ready. Yeah, one of them was separate, but I also need to figure out which file is which. Because, yeah, I recently moved a lot of my files off onto an external hard drive because I wasn't thinking this far ahead because I sort of got... <laughs> I'd gotten out of the habit of streaming. So I wasn't quite thinking of that. 
but that all should be fine. But yeah. And I think that's everything that needs to be said immediately. So, let's get down to business. Video games. Yes, it occurs to me that I did not test the audio uh, beforehand. I forgot to do that also. But it's looking like the game audio is fine. So I'm going to work under the assumption that it is fine and we will proceed as normal. But yes, so there's an event going on. We're not going to engage with that event in any meaningful way <laughs> because we are still making our way through the main story of Arknight. And if the previous event that we played was any indication, we probably need to make a little bit more progress before we could even hope to get through get through this one unscathed. But, uh, but yeah, just to reiterate, this event does involve a lot of uh, storylines that are established in other events, characters that are established in other events and all that. So it will be, I will not be going through it. The event is called Lone Trail. Yeah, I will not be going through Lone Trail until such time as we have uh, established some more of that. I've been, or I had been at one point, working out a, uh, a schedule, not necessarily a schedule, but in order to do these things in. And for right now, we are still on just playing through the main story. The digression into the Monster Hunter collab was purely because it was a limited time event and because, you know, it was a limited time event that wasn't going to be coming back, most likely. Though, that being said, they are going to be running, rerunning the Rainbow Six event and doing another Rainbow Six event somewhere down the line. I don't remember precisely when. So it's not entirely impossible that they'll play the Monster Hunter event again at some point, but that's a, when, whenever that happens, if that happens, you know, that would be a long time to wait to finish a story. So that is why I focused on that event when I did. And let's see, I think that should be, that should properly be everything. Anyway, we're not engaging in that event, but we will see this new outfit from Orchid. Bloodline of Combat Collection, Twines of Time. Orchid finally completed her design after several torturous nights. She stroked the delicate stitches on it, quietly praying for life. All right, so yes. Let's get into the video game. Hmm. It occurs to me that I don't remember. <laughs> uh, it occurs to me that I don't remember at all what the last uh level we did was. Hmm. That's a concern. All right. Give me a second while I <laughs> give me a second while I uh, figure that out. Be right back. All right, thank you for your patience. So it was Operation 2-7 that we did last. So there's nothing to do but to go on to Operation 2-8. Or I should say S-2-8, I suppose. Anyway, so let's get back to our squad. It was a good time using the Monster Hunter squad. I quite liked them. And I'll definitely, I want to talk a little bit about my, uh, my thoughts about the Monster Hunter event, but we'll get back to that once I, you know, am reviewing the footage, basically. <laughs> yes, this... I don't... Hold on. No, wait, that was... Right. Different. Unrelated. I think... Hmm. Which of these... Okay, no, this is the one. This is, this is also an unrelated squad. The third squad is the one that we were doing for this... Using for the stream, I do believe. So we should be able to continue with this. Yeah, there shouldn't be any any differences in the squad that need to be gone over because we I went out of my way to use an entirely different set Long of operators for the event. This is not a drill. They'll pay for what they've done. Of course, now we have to go back to not having a vanguard, which is something I could remedy, but I didn't Got think it. to. Once again, the rhythm of, of this Got whole it. situation has eluded me somewhat, but we'll get there. Yeah, I'm trying to, uh, it occurs to me that I'm not as, uh, I don't remember quite where we were, what we were talking about in the story. I think, let's see, it was, we were talking about, or rather, yeah, the events of the story. 
but we're okay. Pardon again. So yes, so we're in Lungman right now. We are escorting Nisha currently. We are attempting to uh, protect her from reunion and deliver her I'll to the mm, fine folks is maybe a strong term for it, but the people, mm, the people in the El the Lungme and Guard Department. Yes, we are going to deliver her to them. them We're not necessarily things. super keen on that option, but we don't have a whole lot of option, unfortunately. Let's see. Do we? Yes. Take them out fast. Place Chen here. Let's see. Is Chen? Yes, point. Chen is going to be the CC healing, so she should be fine. We should be doing just fine with what we have currently. Yes, we're back into relatively easy, easy going. Don't force my hand. But yes, nothing, nothing quite like the Rathlos that we had just experienced. Yes, I suppose the the explanation for this. Hang in there. I like to try and think of like a story to it. I like to present this as a story. I've been making an effort to do that. Ah, oh, yes, the crab. I forgot. I forgot to put in a pusher on our team, Hang in there. which is a little bit unfortunate. But uh, what can we do? You can pay more attention next time. Is what you can do. But this is Chen. I don't think the crab should be too much of an issue for us. We should be able to survive it. Although we don't have a medic on Warcorn, so that could be a little bit of an issue. It does seem like its health is going down a lot faster than his, though. You'll pay for that. Yes. I suppose the doctor maybe hit their head on something while we were traveling through Lung Men and vividly, vividly imagined a world in which Itch Noir Corn and Yato won some sort of uh, cosplay co competition. And also there was a dragon there, a real dragon there. Unrelated. Come back when you're less mediocre. Alright. Stage complete. And there is no story associated with it, it looks like, so we can continue on. Same here. Um yeah, we'll have another tile where we yeah, that arrow arrow tile there is indicating that this is a place where the game wants you to put place someone who can push. And ba -ba -ba. where did I put the thing? Hold on. I remember. There we go. Just put that there while we choose our operators again. I want to avoid any possibility of spoilers. There aren't a whole lot of operators that are. I don't know, there aren't a whole lot of operators that I'm aware of that are whose mere existence is a major spoiler for any event. But because I've been avoiding spoilers for events, I kind of don't know which operators are and aren't necessarily. I know one who's a big spoiler, but I don't know. I don't know which ones specifically are not. So, you know, I may be being a little bit more cautious than I need to be. But I'd rather be excessively cautious than insufficiently cautious. That's it. Yeah. You can always fix it in folks, I suppose, even if I do make a mistake, so I don't need to worry too much. And yeah, now that we... Now that I've had a taste of having a Vanguard again, I really am not a huge fan of having Yato, who cannot generate DP in our squad. Um... So I think I might just switch her out for someone else. I'm ready. Ba -ba -ba. Maybe not the most thematic, as I was, as I have been aiming for, as I just indicated. But it is what it is. There are a lot of operator choices that I've made that probably don't make a whole lot of sense from a lore perspective. Let's get going. But again, that is not our only concern ready? here, at the very least. Stick to the plan. Anyway, Ready for Overwatch. Bloom. I like Bloom. Bloom isn't a character that has seen a whole lot of focus in the story, I don't believe. But she's a character that I like, personally. Uh -huh. I like her design. I like her little hat. Mm -hmm. I like her cloak. Yeah, I 
felt like there were a lot of things that I wanted to go over before I, I got started, but now that I now that we have started, I remember very few of them. I've mostly exhausted the pre-prepared list of topics that I had come up with. Which is a little bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. I think we will want to put Rangers roughly where we had Jessica last time. Maybe I could have faced him a little bit faced him to the right without losing too much opportunity to put DPS on them. All right. <laughs> out of the way, out of the way. Yes, we have a caster coming our way now. Unfortunately, my unit placements have left, uh, leave mm -hmm. something to be desired somewhat. Because now enemies are going to be do. taking, yeah, enemies are going, or rather, units that are not on the field to take damage are going to be taking damage, which is less than ideal, but it is manageable. Yeah, it's just nice to be playing Ark Knights again. I'm, I'm enjoying it a lot. We haven't played very much, but it's just, it's just kind of nice, you know. It feels familiar. Yes. I suppose we can probably speed through some of this. Mm -hmm. Maybe not too aggressively, because we do want to, uh... Take them out fast! We do want to take them out fast, yes. Yeah. Yes, we don't want to make any major mistakes, but again, we're at a fairly low risk level. Things should be dealt with pretty, pretty smoothly, regardless of, of how we, uh, how I handle it. That said, uh, Chen is pretty low on health here, so maybe not. I've got this. All right. Yeah, so we've still got more drones coming in. We definitely need to keep those dealt with. So having Rangers where he is is a good idea. I was thinking we might want to switch him at some point, but definitely now I'm is sure not that point. Ling has resistance, but she doesn't have enough resistance that she can just sit there unaided. More corn has gone down, which is a little bit unfortunate. Oh, and especially no, unfortunate is the fact that we have a uh, senior caster on our hands, don't we? And thus has Auden made reckoned her so, arrival. Mm, that's not good. Oh, we can't we can't actually place this fellow in a way that uh, draws the attention of the senior caster and doesn't uh hmm, Okay, maybe this isn't as bad as I thought it was. I was gonna say we can't place Ling Summon in a place where that was the senior right. caster targeting it won't also target or won't also harm a uh, unit. But it seems like that's fine. Again, I'm worrying a little bit too much. I think I have a little bit too much of the challenge on the brain. Sit. <clears throat> Renka, Liskarm, be aware of our surroundings. I'll take Misha to Madame Chen. You're late again. Lungmen doesn't want any more security risks. Madame Chen, our escorted team was attacked multiple times by Reunion. In fact, they're still around as we speak. It's not safe here. Please, take Misha and leave as soon as possible. And you're Misha? I am. From now on, you will follow the Lungmen Guard Department's arrangements. EC 94172, you're in charge with this girl. Come with me. Amia. It's fine. Madam Chen, I don't know what Lungmen needs her for, but I hope that you can ensure her safety. We already treat the infected very well. I see. But. Misha's not in good health. We hope that Lungmin will allow her to live in Rhodes Island after this. I'll send an application to Chief Wei. Lungmin will transfer her to Rhodes Island if she passes our checks with no other issues. That is, if there aren't any problems. It shouldn't take too long. Understood. We'll part ways for the time being, Misha. Rhodes Island welcomes you. Amio. While I'm gone, please protect those kids in the slums. Huh? Uh, oh, that's right. No problem. You have my promise. By the way, Misha. Hmm? 
next time, could you teach me how to make dolls? Hmm, <laughs> sure. Is our mission over now? Roach Island will have their hands tied the more they get dragged into all this. But Lungman is still keeping lots of, a lot of secrets from us. Lungman doesn't seem to care about us too much. But the opposite seems to be true for a reunion. Amiya, the enemy wants to attack the district we're staying at. Even though I've heard about it, Reunion's arch or Lungmen's ar architecture sure is complex. This entire street is actually built on rooftops. And that's giving our enemies a huge advantage to exploit. Reunion is attacking again. Even ch they've even chased us all the way out here? Why do they want Misha so badly? Yes, I'm definitely looking forward to getting into levels that I haven't played on my own yet. Because it's a little bit hard to keep track of what stories I have and haven't shown on stream. Sometimes. Yes, let's look over the map. Yes, so there are certain spots, as you can see in the description here. Certain spots. Ba -ba -ba, such as here, here, and here. Those are the anti-air spaces, anti-air runes. So uh, operators deployed on them will attack a bit more slowly, but their attack against aerial, aerial units will be increased significantly. So yes, yeah, so that is a place where we'd, we'd, we would want to place rangers and Jessica and whatnot. And you can see that there are also places to push enemies off of, so that's nice. Yes. Let's start out with a vanguard, as usual. I suppose one thing I have noticed from using uh, Yato primarily is the fact that we haven't really needed the vanguard that much. Got it. Yeah, it's not been a huge, huge deal. Mm. Oh, hold on. We already had a we already had a vanguard in, the, in our squad. Ah, I just completely had missed courier. Oh well. Anyway. But yes. So it's definitely, it's nice to have a vanguard, in short, is what I was going to say. And I'm glad that we, glad that we have one. I'm glad that we aren't using Yato as our sole vanguard, given that she doesn't give us deployment points. Yeah, I think, Got it. I don't know if I've gone over the specific type of vanguard that uh, Plume is. Yeah, she is a charger, which means that she gets deployment points upon defeating enemies, not just from uh, the use of her skills. Yeah, we'll need to place. Yeah, we'll need to place Sura here if we want everyone to be healed. And we've got drones coming this way, so we'll need some ranged march, damage. A wars. And of course, we might have. Uh, hmm. This might not be the best deployment. Maybe we should have placed rangers facing I'm up or down. Truly evocative. Maybe we should place. Maybe we should place one of Ling's summons somewhere so that uh, Rangers isn't destroyed entirely. Not one step backward. I think. Yeah, I think we're gonna want to replace Rangers or uh, place him again. Moving out. Hmm. Jessica's doing okay. I do Extinguish hope that that uh, drone. This one. Yes, the one in the center there. I hope that it just kind of stays there for a while. It'll be a little bit of an issue if it continues. Extinguishing flames. My resolve rise with my spear. Hmm. All right, courier is going to take up. some big damage, and I don't know that he'll necessarily be able to handle it very well. Will the hate sunk beneath the battlefield disperse? So get some the extra attack on Cicero. and it looks like courier is about to go down, probably. Rangers is still unavailable. I've got this. I think we'll have to remove plume. And okay, those drones are going to go through go through our defenses, unfortunately. So yes, I should have placed Ling facing the other direction, it looks like. And besides that, I should have been a little bit more careful with where I place Rangers. 
Other than that, though, we're doing okay. I don't necessarily need a three-star on this level. I'm not terribly concerned about that. But I would like it if uh, we got a result. So, uh, mm, okay, I don't have time to... Oh, no, hold on. We've still got, we've still got some enemies. Got it. I thought we had reached our, our limit already, but no, we're fine. Fine is maybe a strong word for it, but we're okay. It's, it looks like Shen's about to go down, which I don't like. But it is what it is. You can't play, be placed there because you're the wrong unit. All right. Truly, if the split halberd sinks this in the sand, is great less than ideal, but it's okay. I'm yes. waiting for orders. Rangers is fine where he is, or at least he should be, I think. And everything else will be okay. All right, we yeah, we've beaten this. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that was a little bit more challenging than it needed to be. Those so will place down Omnia to, yeah. to help clean up here. Understood. Just take this fellow out a little bit faster. There we go. Fine work. The fire is basically under control. Should I begin the damage control process? Yep, we should be fine. Alright. And so, after the mission. Yeah. LGD's escort team has managed to leave safely, but it doesn't look like our enemies have any intention on letting us go. As long as they don't know that Misha has left with the LGD, they'll continue to focus their efforts on us. Misha will be safer this way. Now that I think about it, why are both Reunion and Lungman after this kid? I can't say for sure. There are a lot of possibilities. My best guess is that either she or something she knows is significant enough to determine Lungman's continued safety. Something? Yes, perhaps some intel or information. No, oh, that's why both Lungman and Reunion are after her. What a dangerous contest. And none of us can stay out of it. Not us, Misha, or the LGD. Hopefully we don't end up caught in the crossfire. We don't know anything, but we have to take care of everything. I... I'm not quite sure. But, as for Madame Chen... I have a hunch that things aren't going to end so smoothly. Amya, is there anything left for us to do? Should we accompany you back to Rhodes Island? No thank you. Nothing is holding us back in combat anymore, so we should be fine. If that's the case, we'll head back and wait for further orders. No problem. Uh, moving forward, I hope you'll continue to keep an eye out on Reunion's movements within Lung Men. Even though we've handed Misha over to the LGD, the fact that Reunion is here still makes me uneasy. Easily done. We'll be on our way now. Mm-hmm. I'll leave you to it. Everyone, we don't know how many any more Reunion members are in hiding. Make sure to stay prepared and alert. Next, we'll continue to relocate our operations within these high-rises. If necessary, we can even use the rooftops. This way, we'll have a terrain advantage versus having to fight Reunion out in the streets. If necessary, we'll draw them towards areas that we control. Roger. Tallulah. The preparations are complete. It's time to make our move. Speak. There actually is a strategic purpose for us to attack Lung Men. If we can take control of Lung Men, Reunion will have a huge advantage. Of course, this comes with a high risk. Why are you preoccupied with this idea? Hmm. Do you see that structure over there? I see it. That's the symbol of Lung Men. It's also... I didn't come back here just to return everything that has been taken from the infected. I will also make him pay. Above all, don't you think that things are getting very interesting? Don't you agree, Lula? Hmm, interesting. Hmm. But yes, real quick, I am going to step away again. I will be back shortly. All right. I have returned. Alright. So, on to 2-9. 
story, yes, before and after. But before we do that, or well, yeah, well, yes, <laughs> pardon. But yes, so before we get into that, definitely I have uh, I've realized it has definitely been a long time since I did a, a full stream on my own because, uh, yeah, in a collab, I have a, a lot of opportunities to rest while uh, my collab partner is talking. But uh, yeah, right now my throat's getting sore a little, getting sore a little bit faster than I was expecting. And so staying hydrated, sip, certainly helps. Part of that is just going to, I'm just gonna have to learn how to get used to it again, basically. So the stream might not go for all that much longer. I think we'll go for perhaps two or three additional missions or we will we'll we'll go until yeah three missions or until we hit a good stopping point i think why are there so many reunion members here ah yeah <laughs> pardon yeah once again Mm, I don't know, maybe, maybe three is a little bit ambitious. My throat's bothering me a little bit more than I was expecting. <laughs> Am I the only one who thinks that there are more and more of them coming? Ugh. No, it's clear that they have more reinforcements coming. Curses, we still haven't had a chance to avenge them yet. They ended up finding us first. Renka, look. Over by the east exit, I think those are Reunion's casters hiding over there. A lot of them approaching from the central passage as well as the high rises to our sides. They're trying to sneak over while pretending like they haven't noticed us yet. But we're on top of the roof. No matter how many times they send at us, they'll be doomed if they get knocked over. I feel like they're insulting my intelligence by launching an attack as brazen as this. Is Reunion launching their offensive? All operators, regroup. Wait, I think I just saw... Isn't that the reunion commander we ran into earlier? Oh. Rhodes Island. Did you turn her over to Lung Men? Renka, we have to hold back the reunion forces first. We'll have to make our way down once they're too afraid to keep attacking us. We'll have to spread out the battlefield for now. Understood. We'll, hit and, we'll do, be doing a hit and run then. What does it have to do with you? How dare you? My comrades, attack! Well, they certainly seemed upset. Yes, we're now getting into... Eh, I guess look, the previous level was also... Yeah, the previous level was also level 40, so we're not that... that much, uh different from that yes yeah, so let's see more anti-air runes and more yeah no specific pushing en enemies off points here but we do have lots of opportunities for that so now that i have realized again that courier is here uh, i think we'll switch out plume because <laughs> yeah i don't know i think like we like we said plume is an operator who gets one deployment point back for every enemy that she defeats and I don't know that this, yeah, I think the type of the type of vanguard that Courier is, where he has the ability to generate a lump sum of deployment points at various points when his skill charges, I think that is a little bit more generally applicable, whereas the uh, type of vanguard that Plume is, I should probably learn these names at some point, but uh, the type of vanguard that Plume is like, she will have uh, slightly better attacking stats, if I remember correctly. Slightly better attacking stats, as well as her skill that improves her damage. Yes. But, you know, she will be more applicable in levels where we're facing a large amount of sort of weaker enemies. Which I don't necessarily anticipate will be the case in this one. Though I could be wrong, of course. And so, we're going to switch out again real quick not to do this too much because I don't want to delay, but it is what it is. Now, who do we want to switch Plume for? 
We've been seeing a fair amount of casters already, and casters have were just mentioned now. So ideally, someone with some resistance would be nice. But that's not super easy to find. At least not among the operators that, I, that are super usable here. I think, I think we'll go for perhaps a guard. The only question is who? Oh, I just realized. Interesting. I completely forgot that I had Franca. Let's use Franca. Franca. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I think I might not have had Franca last time we checked in, which is why I had forgotten about her. But uh, yeah, Franca. Very appropriate. <laughs> For some reason, I thought that Franca had an English voice. Oh, because she does. <laughs> yes, I thought she had an English voice because she does have an English voice. So, we'll get to see Franca for the first time after having All heard right. her for a while. I'm ready. All right. The squad looks pretty okay right now. I didn't actually add anyone with more resistance to our party, but you know, it is what it is. Everyone, prepare for battle. Yes, as per usual. Actually, where do we where are enemies going to be coming from? Or no, this is ready? Right, right, Stick right. I remember plan. the stage now. Got it. So this is one where I didn't need to bring a guard at all, I don't think. Or at least I didn't have as strong of a need to bring a guard. Because yes, they are going to deploy oh, some ground forces. But it's going to be a level with a lot of aerial units also. So hopefully our two snipers that we have will be fine for that. yeah, we'll get to see Franca in action for the first time. It'll be a little while before we see Liskarm properly, I think. But Franca's here. Ba -ba -ba. Speeding up! Play some medic here. Play some medic there. Oop. There. And I think we will place Ling thusly. And thus has Auden made reckoned her arrival. Hmm. I'm realizing now that we don't have... Freeze! Don't quite have enough space for... Everyone. So... That means we're going to have to make some compromises. You'll, you'll pay for that. So... We need another blocker here. Hmm. Maybe I should have... Well, no, I think Jessica is fine where she is. I think she's fine where she is. Yeah, Ling's two summons are okay. Ready? We'll get more summons from... One right, word I have to, to use your skill to get more summons. Yes, yeah, so we will get One more summons over time. So as the they earth. sort of leave the field, they will be replaced. Of course, I said that that uh, Jessica's position would be fine, but now we've got this these drones here. They're going to be a little bit of an issue. Up. Yes, those are drones that can make ranged attacks. Despite having guns, most of the drones that we face so far are completely incapable of attacking. Yo. Well, pay for that. I suppose we're at a little bit of a standstill here. So, actually, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. Ah, mm. Oh, well. Not one step backward. This isn't the best for showing that Franca could have had, I think, but it's not too bad. Has it come to split at least she has done some damage. Great aspirations unrecompensed. Yes, we're doing pretty okay. Okay, now things are going to attack. That's nice. People are going to attack, perhaps even. Alright, so. How is this going to work out? It's going to work out, uh... It could be better. So yes, so the, uh... The blockers that we had were not quite what we needed. 
And these drones look like they're going to, yeah, they're going to end us right now. So, we'll need to revise our strategy somewhat. Not the worst thing in the let's world. Let's get out of here first. Here, this way, hurry. All right, let's try that again. So yeah, so we'll need more blocking. Or, well, we might not. If we, if the snipers are appropriately placed. Yeah, I don't think we can place them just on the anti-air runes facing down necessarily to deal with. Actually, I guess, yeah, the one on Ranger's side was up here. The one on Jessica's side was down there. So yeah, I think we'll need to place them on respectively these tiles facing outward. Because yeah, if we place them here facing down, they won't have enough range to reach into the corners. So yeah, so they won't quite have as much anti-air potential as they might otherwise, but that should be Let's get going. basically fine. Place courier as we did before. Rangers up here. Actually, will that be will that be enough? Time to get to interrogate. In? Ready? He doesn't have the stick to the plan. He can't hit the corner, actually. Hmm. So this might actually be slightly better. Because I do want to be able to cover the side to some extent. Hmm. Well, we know what we just did. Uh, didn't work, so... Alright. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad indeed, okay. For the marching, Place a lane. war song. With the following, a lament. Speeding up! So yes, I think we'll need some guards with a little bit more blocking on them, possibly. Yes. Hello, BC Black Soul. Not much is up with me. What is up with you? Just enjoying some art fight. Oh, thank you for the follow. Yes. So, I'm realizing that I messed up the deployment again, so hold on. I'm waiting for orders. Time to interrogate. Yes, we should, if I'm remembering correctly, and that I could not be. I think we need to place rangers on the bottom. Not one step backward. Truly yeah, chilling, grinding some money. The split gotcha, gotcha. sinks in the sand. Great aspirations unrecognized. Yes, yeah, so I take it you're playing Arc Knights as well. All right, so we should be pretty good here. I might want to save the skill, the Ling skill, next time until we're sort of at the point where we're having to. Yep. Okay. I'll show them what I can do. Yes, until we're at the point where I need to. Actually, I guess. Yeah, I always sort of get into the. Too bad. These people have already been contaminated. Mm. In that okay. case. Yes. I always sort of think of this in terms of wanting to place my units in such a way that I won't need to uh, replace them later. That's not necessarily true. You know, it's a little bit right. annoying to have to wait for the uh, for them to redeploy and all that. Yeah, not a bad team comp, it says. How long have you been playing? I've actually uh, been playing the game since launch. Yeah, uh, or shortly after launch. Yeah, I've been playing it sort of uh, casually, very casually, mostly just grinding, because I knew from a very early point in the game that I wanted to play this on stream. And uh, yeah, so I didn't want to get too far into the story. Didn't want to get too far into the story before that. So yeah, so I've been playing, not quite every day necessarily, but pretty close to it. And so yeah, so it looks like, yeah, it makes sense? Okay. Yeah. So yes, yeah, so I remember, I actually, uh, I actually, uh, like, in this game, before it came out, there was a thing where you could uh, put in your, uh, you know, your email address to, uh, say that you're, you know, interested in the game. Yeah. Sort of like, uh, almost like a pre-order, I guess, but it's, you know, free. But yes, there was a, an option for that, and I did that. 
and uh, there was a bonus effect for, uh, for doing that that you would get. Uh, I don't remember what it was, but I remember, I do remember when I first started playing the game, I had forgotten that I had done that, and so I was all like, what do you mean I got a bonus for pre-registration? I don't remember pre-registering for this game. And I needed to deploy another, another, Speed yeah, up. I guess I couldn't have. Yeah, not gonna lie, getting someone to kill all those drones might help, getting a bit overwhelmed. Yeah, yeah, I had, I had thought that, um, to my turn? I had miss, miss, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, I had forgotten, like, where the, uh, the defensive drones spawned in this mission, and I think we're just gonna have to restart it, because I don't know that we can really it together, salvage everyone. it. But yes. So... As I was saying, I had forgotten where those defensive drones spawned exactly, so I wanted to place our snipers in such a way that they would definitely be able to hit them. Well, let's go then. And I didn't, yeah, I didn't think that by placing them sort of here, facing up and down, respectively, for the, the left and right sides, right. I didn't think that would give me the, uh, the range I needed. Yeah. yeah. I was incorrect about that. It did give me the range I needed, but... Uh, it is what it is. Yes. So, the carrier. And I suppose we can place Ling anywhere about here, I suppose, but And thus has Auden made reckoned her. This rival. way if we get any more drones circling around us, if I nest up anything a little bit, we won't need to worry about it quite as much. And we'll Actually, we might... Yeah, I don't think we need to place a unit there right now, because Ling can... Yeah, Ling has enough damage that she can prevent the enemy enemies from passing through there. Especially if Rangers helps out a little bit. Attack. Yes, so Jessica then will be facing bottom right. And I suppose we might also... I don't know if we'll necessarily... Do you remember which six-star you got from the starter pull? Um... Starter pull. If you're talking about, like, the first time I pulled, no. I remember... I remember there was, like, that... I think, actually... Oh, no. Yeah. I think... At the very least, I remember the first six-star I got was, uh... I need to pay attention to what I'm doing, or else enemies will pass through my defenses. Uh... I got this! But yeah, anyway, the first six star that I can remember getting was uh, Exusii. But uh, I remember there was also the uh, a thing where you could exchange for a specific six star of your choice from a, a small list, and I remember I got list farm from that. To gaze the fire from afar, knowing not its heat. Yes, okay, so we're going to have just plenty range. Yeah, so I did not need to worry about placing my units incorrectly. Could have maybe got a few more snipers, but this is this will be fine. Attack! Let's see, yes. So we've got enough room to deploy two more units. I think what we'll actually do the exact same. I got Exusi from the starter banner and picked gotcha. Blissarm and Silence from the cho from the chosen five stars. Hmm. Were there two of those? I only remember I only remember one of those. And I remember I remember the Actually, I might have Hmm. It feels vaguely familiar. But I gotta say, I do not remember I don't remember that precisely. I'm waiting for okay, orders. That ranger is going to have enough range to deal with these fellows once they're in range. Yeah, there is one where we can choose any five star in the game, the other is out of five of them. Okay. Yeah, I guess I don't remember I don't remember that other one. I just remember the one that was you had a list of five and you could choose from those specific ones. Yeah, so in that case, yeah, I would have to say that I don't remember exactly what that other the other five star I would have gotten from that would be. I remember another five star that I got quite early was um was Talopsis, so that, she might be, she might be the one. Yes, hello RX Code. Good to see you as well. 
must right, come to a little bit more here. As your heart wills. But I think we are going to have a successful hold wishes. here. I chose silence, so healing is good. That's a healing drone and a decent defense to tank destroy range attacks. Gotcha. I know I I have silence, but I remember I didn't get her for quite a while. Yeah, I haven't actually used her before. But the Philopsis has definitely been the backbone of most of these strategies that I have used in my off time. New and wondering if you had any tips? Uh, that depends. What kind of tips are you looking for? Yeah, I can give a decent amount of advice on a lot of topics. I play this game a Where lot, but I don't have a extensive me? knowledge of it. Because again, I've played it... Before, I played it mostly quite casually. This is my first time even, like, make, trying to go through the whole story mode. Yeah, this isn't... I've actually gotten a little bit further than this, but... And I've done some of the, uh, some challenging stages on events. Yeah, I've been playing every day since I played, which is like two to three months. Yeah. But yes. So anyway, to answer your question more succinctly, RX Code. Yes, I'm definitely willing to uh, to give you a, some advice if you like. I can answer some questions, but I can't guarantee that I will have too much too much to say about anything in specific. But uh, again, feel free to ask away. Sit. All right. And in the meantime, I will continue the story. Yeah. Who should I choose from Selector? Um, I've got to say, I don't know. Yeah, who is in the Selector? That's a, that is a good question. <clears throat> yeah, I was going to say, I don't know. I don't know who's available to select from right now. So, yes. Anyway, this is the last wave of Pursuers. <sighs> All clear. Confirming that it's safe over here. Where's the enemy commander? Not with our main force. The enemy is lurking. We're being followed and watched. Are they trying to wear us down until they have the perfect opportunity to strike? Reunion is no stranger to sneak attacks. We learned this the hard way at Chernabog. Let's fall back quickly. I can't guarantee that the safety of the escape route. We'll be in danger if they start demolishing the nearby buildings to block the road. Hurry. Let's see what other routes we can take. The stealthier, the better. Amia, how about taking that stair clock to our four o'clock down? That's a difficult route. Ah, Rhodes Island. It's an ambush. Watch out. Continue the chase. Don't give them any room to breathe. Madam, there are some infected kids still in the slums possible. I hope that you can take care of them. Our duty is to protect lung men. The infected are not considered citizens of lung men. Yeah. However, citizens or not, the infected still belong to lung men. I have no obligation to promise you anything, but I will perform my duty. After all, they said they used to. It's something we've always been doing. Thank you. Do you know why you why you've been why we've been searching for you? Yeah, I hate Skull Shatterer. She's just so annoying to fight, especially in 3-8. You can really just two-shot my monster. Yeah, I definitely guess, yeah. Um, just as a as a quick note, I haven't gotten so far as chapter three. And uh we're trying to avoid spoilers around here. Yeah, so again, you know, I'm, you know, aware of Skull Shatterer, basically. I have played against Skull Shatterer before, but, but yeah, we try to, uh, try to avoid spoilers. Whoops, sorry, no worries, no worries. But yeah, I just have the, uh, I just have a spoiler policy here. But yeah, so, you know, no worries. <laughs> but yeah, probably just in the VOD, when I upload that to YouTube, I'll just have to, to blank this out, probably. But, again, no worries, you didn't know. But yeah, again, feel free to talk about anything that has, you know, sort of gone on so far. And you can still talk about sort of future events. Just don't speak, you know, too explicitly, you know? Yeah, do not speak too, 
too specifically about them. I'm not sure. I can't think of any reason why you'd want me. But I have a feeling that this isn't about me. It's about my parents. Yes. Your father was the most famous scientist in Chernobog, as well as one of the most important political figures there. Perhaps there's something you might know. But even if that isn't the case, we cannot allow you to fall into Reunion's hands. I don't think it's a spoiler since it really isn't story related and it's just an annoying experience. Sorry, regardless. Fair enough, fair enough. But yeah, I just, you know, that wasn't, you know, a story spoiler or anything. I just wanted to get out ahead of it and make sure that we were clear. Yeah, clear on sort of the uh, the terms here. Yeah, again, you know, don't worry about it. I'm not upset. I just want to uh, want to be cautious because I do I do think that the uh, I like to focus a lot on the story in these games in the games that I play on stream and in particular I like the I like the Arknight story a lot from what I've seen of it so you know I'm just trying to be a little bit careful but yes we cannot allow you to fall into Reunion's hands <laughs> I found you LGD don't take this personally but I have a very interesting plot in my hands. To make things more entertaining, I'll need you all to participate. Now, let us begin. But yeah, so for instance, there is a, uh, a very, a very noteworthy uh, gameplay thing related to W that uh, I'm sure you're aware of that uh, we wouldn't discuss here. We wouldn't discuss uh, a particular aspect of the gameplay surrounding W, you know just to be on the safe side. Oh yes. That's it. Let us continue. How is this laid out? Looks like we're going to have... Hmm. Ba -ba -ba. All right, I think we, since we're getting up to about the level that our units can comfortably manage, I think we're going to, yeah, since we're getting up to the level that our units can comfortably manage or just getting slightly above it, I think we're going to start using practice a little bit more. Operation commencing. <laughs> so, yes. To gaze the fire from afar, knowing we not its deploy heat. courier. Of course, Vanguard first, as per usual. And we'll just sort of place units more or less just kind of where we place them. Because yes, I do need to... Yeah, I need to learn how this, uh, this stage is going to work precisely. So I see that we're going to have casters coming from the bottom there. So I'm going to want to deal with them before we before they get to the main group, I think. I'll so what, I can do. what we'll do is we'll place Susuro, I think. And Franca. So <laughs> yes, Franca might not be the most ideal because I do believe she does arch damage with her skill. No or maybe not. Okay, I thought she did arch damage with her skill. It might be a different skill that she has that deals arch damage. I'll or it might not just not be showing me the trait that uh not might not be showing me the trait for that. Either way, she should be able to deal with this fellow reasonably well. I've got this. At your service. Speeding up! We'll keep Courier around for a little bit longer. But if we're going to have uh, junk men coming at us from the bottom, we're definitely going to want a little bit more defense there. Some arch damage could be useful too. I think actually we'll place Amya here. Nah, yeah, here. Here will be fine. Alright, so we are going to have some, some casters just coming at us in general. But it shouldn't be as big of a deal, though they are going to do quite a number to Cicero. Alright, this... 
This is less than ideal. Okay, hold on. Okay. I was thinking about switching or putting in Ling so I could place down some summons and uh, distract them. I suppose I might want to uh, start using a quick redeploy operator here and there. Yeah, hopefully we won't have too many more experiences quite like that. I suppose we don't necessarily need to have a quick redeploy specifically. We can always just use a uh, just use any any uh, old operator who can distract them. Speeding up. Not one step backward. Um, Shaw is not necessarily a great choice, but I don't want uh, I don't want the uh, elite caster to be causing us too many more problems. Right, I forgot what her skill did. <laughs> Maybe I should have read it before I used it. That was unnecessary. Oh well. Yeah, Shaw was definitely not the best choice here. Hmm. I'll do a little bit more damage from range. Alright, so Sasuro's back up. Okay, we no don't have any more enemies coming from the bottom, so we'll redeploy Sasuro here so that she can heal some of our operators there. Her order is no longer necessary, so we can uh, retreat him. Orders. Doberman is fine, being retreated also. We will... Ling won't be able to provide any support from there once they get past a certain point, so we'll place her here. And there we are. Here. I know what you're thinking. All right. Well, <laughs> that sure was a lot of uh, a lot of thought and effort to place into defeating an enemy win. immediately after we deployed we our last unit. Level. But you know, Yet, it is what it is. We ought to sing your praises. Yes, you did well. Thanks, Ling. I appreciate it. So yes. So I did end up going a little bit further than I was expecting. It's still a little bit of a short stream if I end it here. Actually, was there a post-mission story there? Yes. Or no, hold on. We weren't doing 2-9. That was the one that we just did. Um, okay. So there's no story on this one. So I think it should be... Yeah, 2 should be fine. We should have time for that. Yeah, that's not the one that we just did, right? Yeah, it's, it's not the, the same. Okay. Ah, right. We have two places to defend here. One thing I might want to think about, actually, is using a healing defender. Hmm. Because, yeah, that would give us some block and a unit who can heal but is still fairly tough. In fact, I think we might... Actually... Hmm, one second. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll switch out Noir Corn, I think. He's pretty okay, but he could be better. And actually, do we have another unit that's like level appropriate? Not one that's super level appropriate, but I think we've actually got one that's pretty good. Yeah, this'll do. Yes, okay. So, everybody, say hello to Saria. We'll level her up a little bit. Catch up. What are you doing? I'm leveling you up, Saria. <laughs> but yes, anyway. Saria, I understand, is a pretty good unit. I, am I haven't used her a lot to my, myself. Bring up my own opinion on your command. But yes, she's relevant to the event that's currently going on, but we're not going to discuss that too much. Um, let's see. Any other choices to make. I guess, you know, the mission being completely sight unseen at this point. There aren't a whole lot of decisions I can make that would be meaningful. But having a healing defender will probably be pretty nice one way or the other. Well, let's go then. Let's indeed. So where are the enemies going to come from first? Ready? Stick from to here. the plan. Okay. Placing courier. Incoming. Get ready, everyone. Yes, of course, we are going to have more enemies coming quickly, it seems like. Heavy defenders are so I think Franco scary. will be fine there. Just kidding. 
do we want to have... Yeah, we're getting enemies at a fairly fast rate, so we're probably going to want... Okay, we're going to get enemies in another... Okay, you're not too bad. I think we can probably... Actually, that might not be... Oh, hold on. Oh, dear. Um, anyway. Yeah. Looks like we might want to deploy Saria sooner rather than later, though. The positioning, I did kind of mess up my positioning, actually. Actually, better than that, Doberman, I think. Yes, we're not going to have... Yeah, we're not going to have a good guard for that that specific enemy there, or the those casters. Ling, I might want to place a little bit further forward. For the marching. Hang in there. Of course, now Shen is going to isn't going to be taking up quite as much damage. Gotta hurry. Let's burn it up. Let's Sasura. Oh, Sasura, please, thank you. Or not Sasura, uh, pure stream. Tesoro might have been a little bit of a better choice, but I wanted to have the burst healing available for if I wanted it. Tesoro also probably should have been placed one space to the right, because now Ling is taking damage and there's not Take anything that. I can do about it. So, anyway, we're going to place Tesoro, actually. And, uh, now we don't have Ling. <laughs> Your orders. Oh, well. Vermin. Unfortunate. Shaw... I don't really like Shaw as an option here because I don't want to knock the caster back because it can still attack. You have violated the fire regulation. Yeah, it can the caster can attack at range and Shaw can't. So it's a stopgap, but it's not a very good one. Uh, of course, one there. thing that I can do, maybe not ideal. In fact, definitely not ideal, actually. Hmm. Alright. So I'll need to revise my strategy a little bit. Take that. Probably... Saria is probably... I mean, might be sufficient to do any of the healing that needs to be done over here on her own. So yeah, so I might have wanted to place a medic somewhere else. Maybe placing, say, a uh, pure stream roughly here or here or something facing this way so we can make use of her extended range. Of course, it might also help if I use Frithenka's skill and deal a little bit more damage or a little bit more DPS there. Drop your weapon. Yes, we're doing pretty okay. We're gonna have a lot of enemies here to deal with. But I think, given that Solidify. Ling is going to be, has yeah, Ling is going to be, mm, uh, maybe it wasn't the best, but it's going to delay enemies a little bit, and it's going to be an okay choice. Unspectacular, but okay. I might have wanted to place Sasuro in a place where Sasaria could also heal her. Well, we did make it through the level without failure, so. Well done, Doctor. You must be exhausted. Be sure to rest when you need it. All right, and with that, I think we're going to be done for today. Because again, I do who need a little bit of rest myself. I think. Still getting into back into streaming a little bit more frequently. But yes, that was very enjoyable. Nice to be back to Ark Nights. Yes. So, let's see. What is there to say, then, in conclusion? Um, yeah. So, next week, we should be looking at another uh, Coffee Talk stream with Sheppy Sheps on Wednesday. I realized I mentioned the collab several times earlier, but I didn't actually mention who I would be collabing with or what we would be playing. It's the same as every week, but, you know, I would like to say that so that people know for sure. But yes, anyway... So the collab should be at the usual time, at about 8.30 p.m. Central Time. Um, as for next next week's Arknight stream, uh, I might do... Honestly, I might do something around the same, same time as we did today. 
now seems like a, a fine time. So, yeah. Yeah, it would... I could start a little bit earlier, but actually, starting around this time is more convenient for me overall. So yeah, I think we'll do the next Arknight stream at about 2... Yeah, 2 p.m. Central Time, just like this one started. Yes. We'll go a little bit longer, most likely. Again, I have a... Yeah. Again, I'm not quite used to ha having uh, doing a whole stream on my own at this point. I haven't been streaming a whole lot recently. I'm trying to get back into it a little bit more. But yes. So my throat's a little bit sore than I would like, a little bit more tired than I would like at this point. But yeah. So I want to give a little bit of give myself a little bit more time to rest. And again, I do have uh, a commitment for later in the day today. So yeah. So I think that going forward. You can expect to see Arc Night streams at around two, two central on Saturdays going forward. I think that would be a good time. So yes. All that being said, I think we have gone over basically everything that needs to be gone over. Pardon again. So I think it's about time that we set up for a raid. So. Ba -ba -ba. Today, I think we're going to raid into... let's see who's on. Oh, actually. Yes, if anyone would like to make a suggestion, I, I almost forgot. If anyone would like to make a raid suggestion, I would be delighted to hear it. If not, I can always find a target on my own, as I was just about to. And I'll give everyone a few moments to make that decision, if they would like. Since it is a little bit outside of the uh, realm of what we're covering in the story so far, I won't really dwell on it too much. But uh, yeah, I have been rolling on the new event banner, and I managed to get all of the uh, all of the uh, six stars in exactly 68 uh, 68 uh, pulls, which is nice. But yes. Anyway, I'm not seeing any raised suggestions. So, I think today, we'll go and drop by... Just kind of double check real quick. Oh, actually, or hold on. Okay, yeah. Anyway, yes, they are there. Anyway, so, we're going to drop, drop by and raid uh, Oodles O Doodles. If I can spell that properly, there we go. It's been a while since we've seen Boodle stream. And it looks like uh, Sheps is there at the moment. Yeah, it also looks like a follower subscriber only chat, so it is what it is, I suppose. But uh, anyway, the raid message, the customary raid message is, as always, we have arrived. And so, thank you all for being here this afternoon. I hope you have had a fine day. I hope that you'll continue to have a fine day every day. And I hope that you'll be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much and farewell. Let us get this raid underway. <laughs>